Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 55th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to be covering the Qt SQL Query model. And we're just going to make a GUI application and call it uh, my Qt SQL Query mod. Pretty horrendous application name, I know. I'm starting to run out of ideas. If you have any ideas for application names, just let me know. Maybe I'll start naming everything Bacon or something. And then we'll say uh, Qt Dialog. And next, next, finish, finish. And we're going to have a very basic uh, layout here because I'm pressed for time. We're going to throw a table view out there. And first thing we need to do is update our project file, give it a reference to SQL. And notice how it'll rescan your project over here once you do that. All right, now we have to add in our includes. We'll say include. And I've gotten quite a bit of flack for doing this, and I apologize. It's just much faster. Uh, we'll say QSQL. Oops, forgot the T in there. That's why it's not coming up. Hmm. Of course, as soon as I say it's faster, it's not faster. <laughs> That's just how life works. There we go. And include. Alright, got our includes in there. Now what we need to do is we need to set up our model. So say Q SQL query model right there. And we're just gonna call it model. And if you've been following along in my other tutorials with the model view architecture, this is nothing new. The only thing you're doing is you're creating a Q SQL query model. So the underlying data source instead of our file system or custom data is going to be the SQL database. So let's just jump right into dialog CPP here. And we're going to set up our database connection. And we'll say, uh, actually, we should back up here and actually throw it over here in our header. And we'll say, we'll say QSQL database. Whoops. And we'll just say, oops, db uh, equals, sorry, QSQL database. And remember, we want to set up our driver. So we're going to just add the QODBC. And then we want to set the host name. Very important to do the double slashes, otherwise it'll see as an escape character. And I'm using SQL Express, but you can use whatever database system you want. We're going to set the database name. And in previous tutorials, I created a DSN. And let me show you that DSN super quickly here, because we're pressed for time in some of these videos. There's a my DSN32. If you have no idea what a DSN is or what I just showed you, please go back and watch my other tutorials. I cover that pretty in-depthly. All right. Now, what we need to do is set the query. But first thing we got to do is open the actual database. So we're going to say db.open. And we'll close our connection here. We'll say db.close. Somebody's probably going to mail me and yell at me and say, you can't close that during the deconstructor. But you know what? Let's just try it. So let's compile and run. And let's just make sure there aren't any horrendous bugs in our application here. All right, so our application starts. There's no major meltdowns going on. Let's continue. So the first thing we need to do is set our model. So we'll say... And we're going to say new QSQL query model. And then we want to set the query. So we'll say model. 
and we're just going to flip over to our SQL Express Management Studio and I've got a here's my SQL Server I have a test database and I have a table called people and in there I just have some columns um, ID first name last name and we'll just go script table and select new query window and you can execute that and you can see this is the result it returns uh, I have Bob Hope Will Smith and my daughter Heather Cairns who is now famous forever evermore and we'll just format this string and select this and that is our query string and that is how it populates the data. The data will not be in there until you do a set query. So then we'll say UI table view and we'll say set model and we're going to give it the model. Save and run and with any luck this will build correctly and there's our data. That is how you do a QSQL database in a model view architecture using the QSQL query model. Now you should note that this is not editable. You cannot edit this at all. Um, what we will be covering in uh, the next few ones are how to edit this data and it will automatically persist it back into the database for you. So this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.